Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech. So, we'll decide, and today we are going to see about the Azure integration runtime. So, if you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward. So, you will have the better understanding about the Azure integration runtime. So, go to the next slide, and we'll try to understand about the Azure integration runtime. So what Azure Integration Runtime does? So Azure Integration Runtime can run data flows in Azure. So we haven't discussed about the data flows till now. So in the upcoming videos, we'll be going to see in the detail about the data flow. So by using the Azure IR, we can run the data flows in the Azure. Next, we can run the copy activity between the cloud data stores. So it means we can use the copy activities as we have already used. So that copy activity we can use to move the data from the cloud storage from one to another. So for example, if we are having the blob storage, so we want to move the data from the blob storage to the Azure SQL. So that we can do by using the Azure IR. Next, we can also run the transform activities in the public network. So what are the transform activities? So transform activities are Databricks, Notebook, JAR, Python activities, HD Insights, Hive activities, HD Insights, Pig activities, USQL activity, and many more. So those are the transform activities. So by using Azure IR, we can also execute those transform activities. Next. Azure IR network environment. So what is the Azure IR network environment? So Azure IR supports connecting the data stores and compute services with the public accessible endpoints. And it also enable managed virtual network. Azure IR runtimes also support to connecting the data stores using private link service in private network environments so this is the azure ir network environment settings next azure ir provides the fully managed serverless compute in azure and we can also say that the azure ir will come by default with the location as auto resolve option so this is you need to more focus so by default it will be available on your Azure Data Factory. So go to on the browser and we'll see in practical. So here we are in our Azure Data Factory. And if you can go inside the manage and under the integration runtime, then here we can see the auto resolve integration runtime and the type that is the Azure. So by default, it is available here. And in the last video, we have seen under the link service. So if you can go here and we'll see about the Azure SQL connection. And here we can see the auto resolve integration runtime. So this auto resolve integration runtime, which is Azure type, is using here to connect with the source. And our source is the Azure SQL database that you can see in the top of this. Let me cancel this and go back to integration runtime. Here we want to create the explicit Azure type of IR. So how we can do that? So for that, we can click on new. Here we can see the first option for the Azure or self-hosted. So for creating the Azure type or the self-hosted, we have to select the first option and we can click on continue. Here we can see the Azure type is here, self-hosted is here and the external resources is also here, which is the linked self-hosted. So I'm not going to see about the self-hosted here. In this video, I'm going to cover this Azure. So we can select that. And here we can also read, use this for running data flows, data movement and external and pipeline activities in fully managed serverless compute in Azure. Now let me click on continue. Here we have to specify the name. So let me call this as Azure IR and here we can say like this is temp IR for testing so we can specify the description like this 
under the type here we can see the type is azure now in the region we can see the auto resolve or here we can select the region by which we want to create this ir so it will have the good to have the auto resolve under the region now we can click on create so before going to create here we can see the virtual network option so virtual network configuration we can enable from here by default it's disabled in the data flow runtime here we can see the core count and uh, time to live so these options are available here but we are not more concerned on this go to the setting again and click on this create so here we can see the azure ir is created successfully that you can see right here here if we can go and click on this monitor option so it will be going to display the status type subcategory and the reason so the status that is running that is good next we have the type type is azure subcategory that is public and the reason that is auto resolve so we can check from there now let me go back to the ir so now we can go under the manage again and here we can see the azure ir that we have created we can see this option for the delete so explicit we have created this so we can delete that and by default which was available we cannot delete that now go to the link service and here the azure sql connection we can see here we can see the connect via integration runtime so by default it has the option for auto resolve ir if you want to select the azure ir then we can also select and we can test the connection here so here we can see the connection successful so if we are going to change the ir and after that that we can see the azure ir and we are checking the connection so connection succeed now we can click on apply so this change should be applicable and available there so that we can see all the changes are successfully applied there so this is the azure type of ir so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos in the next video we will be going to see about the self-hosted IR. See you in the next video.